to tell us about their country first. Language is <laughs> uh, Region uh, in Australia. These ordinary school students from Irpin transformed into politicians today. But instead of real states, they had to rule those they invented. The idea was thought up by Peace Corps volunteers Emery and Holly. I am a Peace Corps volunteer with the Youth Development Program. I've been here in Ukraine for one year and six or seven months. In 2017, she took a chance at volunteering, and among over 60 countries to serve in, she chose Ukraine. For me, why Ukraine? Because my great-grandmother, Moya Prababusia, Svika Ukraina, she is from Ukraine. And um, we think probably the Kherson or Mykolaiv Oblast. Um, so we believe she lived in Novi Bog. So we are here in Irpin, um, in Kivsk Oblast. We think she would have lived over here. Her great-great-grandmother, Mary Diachenko, moved to the U.S. from the village of Novi Bug in the early 1900s. As Holly was born some 90 years later, she never met her. Nonetheless, Holly always felt that she had ties to Ukraine. I studied Ukrainian politics in university. Um, I love the culture and the food. I grew up eating vareniki and halopsi and borscht. She can enjoy these dishes not just from across the pond, but in Ukraine's Zakarpattia region. She works there with schools and camps and carries out trainings. How many member states or countries make up the United Nations today? Masha was first. B193. Is that correct? You are correct. Yay! The answer is B. So the project that we did today is actually a really cool intersection of community work and youth work. Um, so we're beginning a club for students in Irpin that is focused on learning about model United Nations or learning about the United Nations through a simulation. The culmination of the course, the camp model United Nations, is scheduled for the summer. My favorite thing to do with the Ukrainian youth is teach about leadership and how they can take their own abilities and their own dreams and turn it into future plans. Holly plans to continue working on this mission for the next year and a half. Natalia Chakotun, UATV.